Hello my friends, it's me again, your favorite denture wearer. Sure hope everybody's doing okay today. I want to talk to you today about the cost of dentures, soft relines, hard relines, um, etc. Now understand that some of you are going to have um, insurance, so your out-of-pocket costs are going to be a little different. And so for about two months now, I've been calling dentists and dental labs um, all over the country. Texas, Florida, Michigan, um, Montana, California, you know, just to get a, a, an average. Because some areas are cheaper and other areas are more, expo more expensive. For example, Montana, it's much cheaper to get dentures in Montana. Um, than it is in Florida, for example. So what I've done is I've just taken all the prices they've given me just for dentures. This doesn't include extraction, extractions, okay? Because your extractions really depend on when they do the x-rays, the amount of work it's going to take, um, things of that nature. So I can't give you a price for extractions. That all varies greatly. Uh, but for an average set of acrylic dentures. Now this is to say the questions that I've asked to these offices and labs and things like that is um, twofold. I said if I have all my teeth pulled and get immediate dentures um, what does that include? Most offices said the immediate dentures include the first set of dentures and soft relines. Now that can be anywhere from $1,600 to $2,600, not including the extractions. But having the soft relines included in your plan is a good choice to make because your gums are going to shrink for a year to 18 months. And if you don't have that included in your plan, it could cost you anywhere from what did they say? Let me look. <laughs> I got it all right here. $150 to $300 to have your soft reline done on your dentures to make them fit correctly again. Now, if it's included in your plan, and it's a, and it's a 10 minute office visit or a 20 minute office visit, you go in, they check the fit of your denture, they put some goop in it, they shove it in your mouth. They let it form to your gums and everything and harden. They trim it off and they give it back to you and that's a soft reline. Um, it's like a 20 minute office visit and that could cost you up to 300 bucks if you don't have it included in your plan. Now I also asked all these offices, I have a permanent set of dentures. I had them for a long time. I'd like a new set of dentures. That can be anywhere from the average from the lowest to the highest can be anywhere from $2,600 to $3,600. That's average. Now some of them are as high as $6,000. I have no idea why. And some of them are low as, as $2,400. Now one of the labs that I called here in Salt Lake, uh, the lab that did my hard reline for me, um, they want $1,300 for the top denture and $900 for the bottom. So that's $2,200 if I want them to make me a new set of dentures. Now, the reason I'm telling you all this is because some of you have insurance and your out-of-pocket money will be a lot less. Some of you have Medicaid or Medicare and... I believe in most states, Medicaid pays up to $1,000 for a set of dentures. But you're still going to have some out-of-pocket cost. In some cases, states cover the entire cost. In other states, the state only pays up to $1,000. It all depends on the state you're in, the program you have, what type of insurance you have, and if you have no insurance at all, this is going to be all out-of-pocket money. Getting dentures is not cheap by any means.
But I have to tell you, it's the best decision I ever made. If I would have, if I could, if if I would have had to have gone one more year with those rotten, nasty teeth, causing me headaches, making me ill to my stomach, I probably wouldn't be here, to be honest. Um, I was, I was that close in my life. I was, I was at that point where being nauseous all the time because of the poison in my system, my muscles cramping all the time. I mean, I worked hard. I, I, I was a tree surgeon. So I understood that climbing trees, swinging chainsaws and throwing timber all day long, throwing giant chunks of wood all day long was going to make me a little sore. But for as long as I had been doing that, there was absolutely no reason for me to be sore every day. No reason. My body had adjusted to the, the physical requirements to do that job. But yet, my muscles were sore all the time. My joints were sore all the time. My head pounded all the time. My mouth hurt all the time. I couldn't eat a hamburger with lettuce, pickles, and tomatoes on it. I had to eat it with just meat. And I couldn't let them toast the bread because, believe it or not, the bread toasted was too hard for me to chew. That's how bad my teeth were. You've seen the pictures. I was depressed all the time. I was pissed off all the time. I didn't realize what it was to be truly happy until about six months after I had my dentures. Oh, sure, the first six months, I smiled. I wanted to show off my teeth and stuff, and I learned how to function with them, and I learned how to eat, and I started my YouTube channel, and I was trying to teach people how to get through this. It gave me a purpose in life. Before I got my dentures, I really had no purpose I loved helping people, but I didn't know how to help people. Pulling over on the side of the road to help someone change a flat tire made me feel good. Picking up a hitchhiker in the rain made me feel good. But it wasn't good enough. I needed to feel better. I needed more. And because I was pissed off and angry all the time, that feeling good only lasted a short time very minuscule. When I got my dentures and I made my first video about my dentures for YouTube, I felt good putting that out there. When I made my second video, it felt good to put that information out there. By the time I made my 20th video, I was in a routine of, okay, every time I learn something, I'm going to put this on YouTube. I don't care if anybody watches it now or not. Maybe 10 years from now, somebody will see it and it'll help them. When I started getting comments from people saying, this really helped me, it inspired me to keep going. It inspired me to, to keep doing what I wanted to do. And look where we've come. Within six months, the comments I was receiving, knowing that I was helping people, knowing that I was <clears throat> able to do more than I've ever done to help people, really started making me happy. And it was a feeling that lasted. It wasn't just five minutes of being happy and then being pissed off again. The poison had gone out of my system. My joints weren't hurting anymore. I was able to function with my teeth and my mouth wasn't hurting anymore. I didn't have pounding headaches 24 hours a day, seven days a week. My joints weren't hurting. My muscles weren't hurting. I was able to sleep all the way through a night. And I, and I for the first time in probably 20, 25 years. I felt happy. I mean, really happy. 
not a fleeting moment of bliss, but happy. And it's hard to explain. It's, it's almost as hard to explain happy, feeling happy. It's almost as hard to explain that as it is to explain the feeling of being in love. You can't explain it. And so at the six month mark, when I realized I'm happy, I'm actually happy. I'm doing something to help people. I can help more people by putting out videos than I ever could pulling over and helping someone change a tire. And I'm helping people through a very traumatic experience. You're getting your mouth tore up. Sure, there's medical terms. Oh, I've had my extractions done. No, you had a bunch of shit ripped out of your mouth. And some plastic shoved in your mouth to replace what they removed. That's a fact. That's what tears us up so bad mentally and emotionally is it's not a simple procedure. People say, oh, it was easy. I just went in, they pulled my teeth, and I left. I'm sorry. One out of a billion, maybe. And, and you know, maybe I'm over-exaggerating, but... The simple fact is, for the, for the most part, most of us, we've had a traumatic experience. We had a bunch of teeth ripped out of our face and some plastic shoved in our mouth. And there was no help out there for me. There was a couple of channels I watched that helped a little bit. But they had already had their dentures for a year or two. So they weren't telling me what I was going through and that it was going to be okay. But at six months, I realized I was happy. I was truly, completely happy. And I've been happy ever since. And I love this channel. And I love everybody on this channel. I love what I'm doing. I love Denture Fit. Not just the product. Not just the people. I love the fact that they allow me to do what I need to do to continue being happy and to continue helping people. Without their sponsorship, I wouldn't be able to do this. So everybody that's on this channel should throw a thank you to DentureFit. If you like what I'm doing, you like the help you're getting, you like me walking you through certain pro uh, processes and things like that, and the comments that I answer, throw a thank you to DentureFit. Because without them, I wouldn't be here. I wouldn't be doing this because I wouldn't be able to afford it. So I hope everybody has a fantastic day. Again, thank you all for being here. And I just hope you remember to keep smiling, keep trying, and never give up.